Hello everyone, welcome back to Cataclysm. Dark days ahead, he says in his most Halloween voice. I don't know, what is the word for this type of voice? Anyway, in the last episode we discovered that we had uh, found ourselves in the same world that we previously left, in the mm, terminal way, uh, and we also found ourselves with frozen drinks <laughs> because it's the middle of winter we're very hungry and very we're very hungry and very thirsty but we are happy because we have eaten a lot of nice stuff no doubt we need to light a fire down here where i've put this heavy stick in the oven pointing at oven yes you can see the cursor i checked that previously as well but it's just good to double check um what i didn't think of in the last episode because i was going to say oh we need to find a lighter we trained survival, so it's possible that we have got the ability to create a fire drill vis-a-vis -vis those things which you spin really fast and they make hot. Okay, so I've opened this menu with the ampersand, obviously. Why wouldn't it be? And I'm going to press slash and search for fire drill. Enter. We can't. In that case, what can we make? I don't know how to make... Um, fire if I don't know how to make a fire drill which is a problem because we need to <laughs> so it's probably here the stuff that we want will be here in other right so we can make things that don't help like we've, if it's daytime we can probably make um, a fire with, with our binoculars that's fine we don't need to make a magnifying glass what we've got here digging stick plastic or crucible blade Welder. How can I make a welder, but not a fire drill? I can make a teapot, a hand mirror, a shaving kit, a haircut kit. Um, I can make a brazier if I had the tools to do so. A hammering tool and some sheet metal, which is a great place to set a fire. I can't make a fire. I'm aware that when... I'm hearing noises. I think it's next door walking up and downstairs, but as long as there's nobody, you know, scaring me by creeping up behind me, having come home without saying she's leaving. No, it's not Jen. Uh, I'm trying to make sure that I read properly because when YouTubing or, or streaming, people tend to not read things because they're trying to be quick and not bore people. Missing needles, wooden needle makes you funnel. That's good for collecting water. If it were to rain, that would be fine. Soda can stove kit. But you have to apply something burny to make it go right all these things we could make <laughs> for no reason because i don't know what to do there's not much we can make electronically either which is a pain and i'm guessing there's no sort of cigarette lighter or anything in the uh in a car or anything like that let's go downstairs this is where we started the first episode the door has now closed itself again. I'm wondering whether the Mego is still down here. That is a pinball machine. Good to know. Also, it's possible that my corpse, which had a lighter on it, is still there. So the Mego is down here in... I can drink wine. Does it help? Quench six. Somewhat, but we would get drunk. Broken cyborg. No, this is a problem. Let's run away now. <laughs> Didn't see that. Nothing here. <laughs> I think we're safe from that. I'm guessing it didn't actually follow us out of there. Otherwise, we'd be in big, big trouble. Uh, let's figure out what to do with ourselves. I guess we have to fight the zombie child, which has just shown up from nowhere. It's dark. Okay, so uh, also we should be running. Because we want to make sure that we can take as many steps as we can in the short time uh, when we need to move away from the zombie child in order to not let it beat us up. This is not fun. Stop being of low stamina. If you very much don't mind very much. Thank you. Shocker zombie. Now we can see a shocker zombie from far away uh, because, of course, they are electric and they glow. So we don't have to worry too much about that. I was going to say, uh, let's wait a second, but A, press the wrong button. 
B. Turns out we don't have to. Is this the same map then where we burned a house to the ground? Because it is certainly not the map, the house to the right there. So if it's not the one where we burned a house to the ground, then it's not the one that contains our um, lighter. So if we have a look around here, you can see that now we know that the shopping trolley is no longer there. We probably could have guessed that using a, a modicum of intelligence, but you, you, you never know. Candy shop might contain some food. We're going to have to sort of sneak around here and hope not to run into something horrible, because if we do, we're starting again. There's untold things that we could discover it, it, just by walking around like this that could just one-shot us completely, and it's no good, and we don't like it. This is a window that we can't open. So I'm going one step at a time. Ooh, don't like that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> really care. Just let me into the candy shop, see if there's something we can drink. Because what what is getting me right now about this new mechanic of there being frozen stuff? Soda doesn't freeze that well. Um, so I am a little bit not super happy that we have to deal with this on account of how, why would that be a thing, <laughs> you know? Did that say quench? No calories. What's this then? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's a children's book, which would make sense in a candy store. Nobody else eats candy. That's just nonsense. Why would grown-ups eat candy? I, I'm fully with you there. Ugh, grown-ups eating candy, gross. Teapot, well, I can make those, so I don't need them. Plastic bag of breads. Let's try eating. I can't eat that. Can I defrost food? Is there a defrost food thing? <laughs> no. Just hoping that maybe I could just press something that would. Maybe if you sat on it, that would defrost it. You get a very cold bum. But it would work. Flipping heck it. A raincoat that fits. Um, do we need that? Environmental protection is three. Let's have a look at what we're wearing, which is. A army winter jacket, which has environmental protection of nil, which is strange because it's an army winter jacket. Uh, it has uh, warmth rather than environmental protection. They're separate things, so it's 50 warmth, which is great. And 95% coverage of the torso, I believe, not just in general, because that would be silly. Uh, hi. Um, you see me? Yes. So if we run away, <laughs> that would be a good idea, don't you think? Wait for it to get close. I'm going to kite it around this corner, which is what I'm doing. I'm going to open this door, and we are poisoned. Because I didn't go fast enough. Are we badly poisoned? We could wait, but we will probably die from our thirst. So we're just going to have to keep going and hope that our coughing, which is inevitable, doesn't attract more creatures. Which is inevitable. What have we got to the north? A small cemetery. That sounds like a bad place to go. Uh, in a zombie apocalypse. So let's not go there. I'm doing all this at night. I'm running. I don't want to be running. My mistake. There's a vehicle. It's completely wrecked. However, we may find some useful items in the debris. In the debris. What is it? It was. It's a pileup. <laughs> There's two cars. Oh, I can see now, yes. There's a, a certain awkwardness when it comes to the vehicles in the game because. Um, yeah, this doesn't stop. This is part of the pilot. <laughs> what? Um, obviously, it's made out of squares, so you don't really know how to deal with that. Uh, if you are trying to render a car at an angle and you've got just. Single tiles, it's going to be pretty difficult. We have oh, pliers might be good actually. Let's take those. Um, walking around with my pair of earplugs, I don't know which door I want to open the most, or w whether I want to open the door or the window the most. I guess doors are always locked, which intrigues me because if you found yourself in a zombie apocalypse, sort of okay, fair enough situation who's going to stop to flip in well uh, lock the door on the way out right 
Every single person locked the door of their house on the way out. I don't really need these things. Maybe this? This pesto. Again, everything's frozen. We really need a way of lighting a fire, and I'm wondering if the way to do that is to just level up my survival, even though, you know, I really want to just find a lighter. It, it really does seem like the uh, early game is now gated behind finding some way of setting fire to stuff, which seems silly. Because, first of all, they should be everywhere. Secondly, it's like, can I light a fire with a flashlight and... I can heat up food in a pair of metal tongs. Can I apply... Well, come on. <laughs> I mean, I know flashlights aren't that powerful, but at the same time, you've got to give me something, game. You know, we're, we're dealing with pretty awkward stuff here. This is a shed. This might have a lighter in it. Pumpkin seeds. Birdhouse monthly. Again, got two copies of the same book, you crazy lunatic. And the modern rifleman, which, I mean, I guess we could take, but we just, it's good enough to know it's there. Who cares? All right, let's try the next house along. There's the cattails we needed last time. We should have gone to this swamp in the first place. By the way, this is a terrible idea because swamps can catastrophically, and, and well, I mean, catastrophically, kind of covers it, uh, just drop you into a sinkhole. Which is not fun. You don't want to be in a sinkhole if you can avoid it. I'm really hoping that there are no zombies about to, you know... Yes, do that. Something is in some cars up there. Hoping we're making literally enough noise that it's not a big deal, but there is no back door to this house. I think our best thing to do here is to smash the window and get in. No, don't step into it. Smash it again. That's S and a direction is to smash the window there. Just so that you know. And then I'm going to sort of move to a different room on the basis that if I do that, anything that heard me smash that window shouldn't hear me moving around this house if I do it gently enough. I'm also going to close all these windows here. Uh, the curtains, I mean. The windows are already closed, which is why I had to smash the damn thing. Uh, if you press comma, you'll pick up the entire lot. I meant to press capital M, but I mean I'm okay with having the pot. And some pickled fish. Seems like an okay thing to pickle to me. Because it's edible. If you can't pickle it, it's not edible. A pair of dress shoes. It might be fancy. I'm uh, trying to fill in every single unit here. Six pairs of contact lenses. That doesn't... Because what? I don't think I'm poisoned anymore, by the way. I'm in pain. All my pain, I guess. But I'm not poisoned yet. There is a blanket in case we get too cold, but should have closed those curtains, didn't close those curtains. If we grab this, which is remember shift G and then a direction, there's stuff in the way. Now here's what we can do. We can go from our west, which is four. See this uh, here, these are the numbers you press, but it's pretty intuitive. It's just the directions on the thingy. I'm gonna press comma and just move everything from the west to the east, which are the wrong way around in this um, user interface, this UI here. That's just simply because I did it wrong, I guess. Uh, I might do this. Grab this, move it down there. Grab this, move it down there. You have to ungrab, which is Shift G again. Can I light things with this? I just want to light a fire. <laughs> Why is this such a big deal to you, game? We didn't start the fire. Right, this is going to be dangerous because you never know what's in a basement. But uh, so far, so good. Lava and a crawling zombie. That's one way of lighting the fire. Ooh, if I bring water with me, this lava might be sufficient. There's a lot of cannabis down here. I believe that's what that is. To turn safe mode off for now. That is a dirt and some marijuana. Yes. So we could um, bring the water here. So what I'm doing here, by the way, in case you can't tell because it's unclear and I'm not telling you, uh, I, I'm hissing it a couple of times and then I'm stepping away 
And then I'm pressing 5 a few times, which just waits a little bit. Uh, which gives the... Oh, I forgot about that. Don't do that. Uh, don't do what I did there. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Um, it, it gives the enemy time to step to you, which is you know, the way we phrase it, in the hood. Uh, and then, do I have a jar? Did, I, did you say I had a jar? I've got a pot. Container. Have a canteen. So can I now like go in here? I know what I did. <laughs> okay, I understand the mistake that I made. Um, can I go in here and like craft? Oh, it's really hot right here. Where is it not hot? Here. Okay, this is not going to work either. Get out of here. I didn't know what I did because I thought I was far enough away from the lava much earlier than it turned out that I really was. It's a problem. Can't close the curtains from the outside. Yeah, fool. Well, I guess we just keep going. See if we can find something else. A park, another house. I don't know why it's proving so difficult to find some way of lighting a fire. The only other thing I can really do now is try and level up my survival, which you can do by, you know, doing survival stuff. Something's following me. There's something in this car crash, isn't there? What is this? It's a tough zombie. Okay. Stab it a couple of times, run away. It's quite fast, actually. That's a problem. If we are running... Stop hurting my leg. We can just about get a hit in, run away, wait for it to come back. Get, get off me. It grabbed me. I didn't like that. Just kill it. Okay, good. That made a lot of noise, and I'm in extreme pain. So let's just smash uh, the corpse below me, and please have a lighter on you. Heroin. Close enough. I'm still running. Don't do that. Uh, okay. Something needs to stop being so difficult. <laughs> ASAP, please. There's a car here. There's something here. No lighter in here. Does it work? Why has it got an extra headlight? I do not know. The police SUV's engine fails to start. Uh, that uh, footstep thingy? That was probably the um, engine failing. You heard, you can't see the engine, but you heard it fail, right? That makes sense. Can I uh, investigate this? Wild vegetables. Can I eat them? Yes, but I guess I should. <laughs> I was going to say, but I shouldn't, and why not? It's a young tree. Okay, how long will it take us to level up survival? Flipping ages. Can we craft anything that uses survival? Let's press slash, and you can do S survival. This will, making these things will level up your survival. Okay, nearby fire for making a spear. It's no good. What can we make here that is worth even trying? Plant fiber? Okay. Let's uh, explore these thingies, get some cattails, and make sure we actually pick them up, which is too much. So I will do this because I can store this in my sheath, and I don't have enough capacity to pick up the rest. So anyway, whatever. Let's go and... Drop this stuff off. Try not to get caught by something on the way past, because that would be distressing as well. Is there anything here that's important? Not really. Because the thing is, I could have missed a lighter by it being part of something else. Oh, I need to press A here and I here. I feel like I should be able to use... Uh, I don't know. I feel like I should be able to use a flashlight and my binoculars or a magnifying glass, something like that, to set fire, but... That's because I've played games where you can do that sort of thing, even though it's completely unrealistic, to try it. Um, so, honestly, I think it's correct that you can't. <laughs> but also, I really, really wish that I could. Um, can I... I can create a cudgel. Sure. Can't see to craft. Activate my flashlight. Make a 
Let's make the same search again. Survival. So now I've got a bunch of stuff around me. So more things are available to be made. For example, shelled hickory nuts. Uh, if I press minus, it will try the thing again. Uh, it didn't work because I can't make it anymore, but uh, S survival. I failed to make shelled hickory nuts, by the way. How hard is it to shell some hickory nuts? Just don't even ask. Uh, can I not? Was that my actual socks? It might have been. Um. Kind of expected that I would have some other uh, socks. So, sock mitts. Can I turn sock mitts back into socks? No. <laughs> I think I cut holes in them. Fine. If I press B here, I can batch craft them, which means I'll make as many as I can. Um, I'm dehydrated, but my skill and survival has increased to two. Fire. Drill, fire drill. Small string, two by four, two heavy sticks and some splintered wood. We can do this. I'm gonna turn my flashlight off because I've used so much of it already. I have no spare batteries, although there is a talking doll here which I can unload with a capital U to get some batteries. I've unloaded my talking doll. I should also probably reload my gun just in case. So if I go over here and type fire, uh, what's here? I can break this long string into a short string Wield the long string, disassemble, nope, all right, inventory, long string. I can't disassemble it. Why? I know why. Drop the long string, uh, unload, wield the sheath with a combat knife, yes. Apply combat knife to cut up an item, which will be. Why can't you cut a long string into short string? Ni uh, fire drill. Two withered plants. Campfire drill. Two long strings. Two two by fours or four heavy sticks. One ceramic shard and one rock. Right. Long string. First of all, drop everything I don't want into here. Which is everything. You know what? Not the pot. Not the sewing kit. Uh, yeah. Not this. So there's two types of thing I'm looking at here. One is things that I probably want with me when I'm doing stuff, which is going in here. And then everything else, I can actually just put them like down here. Food and, and contact lenses and books and plant fiber. All that stuff can just go in the kitchen because I don't care about it. I'm also going to do this and uh, move things over here as well. So we've got this, this. Oh, I want the flashlight actually. Uh, let's take the vehicle here, shopping cart, yeah, get something out of here. Going to want the pliers and the sewing kit at some point. I might want the earplugs if some stuff starts to happen. But if I capital M, it will move the entire stacks of each of these. I will move all of the books. I'm literally just putting all this on the sink or under the sink or something like that, just because I don't care right now. And then we have a shopping cart we can pull around and some space in our inventory so we can start going. Everything around us can go into the... Shopping trolley. This is fine because there are also heavy sticks and long strings and batteries uh, and a first aid kit. Why was that anywhere? If, oh, this is the dragged vehicle. It happened to be the dragged vehicle when I started doing stuff and I was getting excited because actually all the stuff that I thought was in my cart was in my cart uh, and it thought and I was, I was just moving them out of my cart for no real reason let's do all this there we go right said fred let us craft a campfire drill fire can't see to craft correct activate the flashlight create a campfire drill do it do it goodness for that move from the grabbed vehicle to the south which is an oven I need some more wood there's plenty of smashed wood available but we should definitely turn this off um, let's go and find some just 
whatever would. There's probably some out here. There isn't. Interesting. Okie dokie. A purse. I would like, if you don't very much mind, some uh, some wood. Oxygen tank. Not interested. All right. Can we disassemble? Asterisk deconstruct furniture. We don't have the ability to deconstruct furniture. Um, but what we can do is start smashing away. There we go. We can now pick up splintered wood into our grabbed vehicle. We've got a two by four out of it, which is great. I'm only going to burn one for now. I'm going to move them from the grabbed vehicle to the south. Which is this two by four, the splintered wood might as well. And then I'm going to apply the campfire drill to the south. Don't press the wrong key in that situation because it will set a fire in the square that you choose. Whether you wanted to or not. And I'm going to make water. How do I... Um, I can activate a pot and I can heat up anything sports drink no eat the goddamn sports drink we are now merely very thirsty thank goodness for that let's do it again uh, where was my water? <laughs> right, now what we can do, we have a, by the way, on our right hand side we have a plastic canteen of salt water. We cannot apparently make uh, clean water out of salt water. We just need water. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to heck with salt water, I'm going to unload my salty water. It's getting light by the way. Capital U, unload my canteen of water onto the ground, down there. Don't care about that. What I do care about is getting, oops, uh, water from the, I can't, yeah, I can't. We need fresh water. Let's go and see if any of this marsh water is fresh water. We can't go to sleep yet. I'm dragging this trolley, <laughs> probably not the best thing to do. Uh, water from shallow water, pour this into the canteen and then get the heck home again. I need to get back before it gets so light that things start being able to see me. Why is it getting light so quickly? That's not fair. Has this died? No. Phew. Ampersand slash water. We can now create clean water. Batch it. Six clean water because our uh, the, the, the thingy on our hip contains six doses of water. Doses, quote unquote, of water. We should be able to make six waters. I will consume hot water, 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 no. Pour into a container, plastic canteen. Now we have a canteen of hot water, which I'm hoping is okay, like the hot water is not going to melt the canteen. This is a military canteen after all. Finally, someone let me out of my cage. Yo, time for me is nothing, because I'm counting no age. I can make boiled noodles. Now I have water, a nearby fire, and raw lasagna. Mind you, I can make cooked fruit. Cooked fruit. Calories 148 quench nil. Calories 252 quench 12. So we are not thirsty enough to be able to drink an entire gulp of water, an entire one portion of water, but we are we can we can drink more water without being um like over full. And my skill in cooking has increased to one as a result of making that, which is really good because now we're going to unlock way more um, recipes. So we can eat fresh hot noodles a couple of times. We are slate because the uh, noodles had water in them, but we are still very hungry, which means we need to eat stuff that doesn't contain any quench. Huh. I can uh, probably use this pot to heat up onion rings. Cool. What do they look like now? Rotten. <laughs> They're hot but rotten. Okay, uh, I'm going to keep them on me because I need to remember to drop them. We are going to do that again. Activate six. We can heat up some sloppy joes. Let's eat. Okay, cool. Can I eat those? Yes. And again. Yes. Now I'm only hungry. We have survived the 
insane amount of difficulty at starting this game by getting our survival to level 2. We had to use our socks to do so, which was not in my plan, but socks we did use. I, I don't think we had to. I didn't realize that it would use the things we're wearing. Oftentimes, if you're wearing or wielding something, it won't tell you, uh, sorry, it won't let you just use them in a crafting recipe without prompting you first. In this case, that hasn't happened, which is kind of uh, upsetting, I guess you might say, because um, it, I, I would have expected it to, so now I'm not wearing any socks. <laughs> this all being said, I am comfortable. My right leg is quite ouchy because we had a fight with that zombie just now. You remember that, it wasn't that long ago. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just noticing these colors. This is new as well. Let's have a look at the screen. I'm about to end the episode. We've managed to run around the town a little bit, find absolutely nothing, and do what we should have done in the first place at the end of it, so now it's time to wrap up. But let's have a look at this. this uh, when you consume an item, you get food and quench, which is obviously thirst. Um, every item has some benefit to food, some benefit to quench, but it also has joy. Joy is your happiness, which affects your morale, which affects your desire to do things. There is an actual mechanic in this game for your desire to do things, um, which means if you don't keep your morale up, you might stop fighting and things like that. You know, Your character will just decide that it's not worth attacking the zombie that's attacking you. So you need to keep that up. Currently, we are deliriously happy. But these, the joy here, we like mango. So if we ate this mango, we would get even happier. If we ate, for example, cattail rhizomes, we would get some, uh, some nourishment from it, but we would not get much joy from it. It's going to be horrible. I'm noticing, however, that these ones are yellow on red, which is new. I believe this means that you are likely to be poisoned by eating that, or at least to get... Uh, maybe food poisoning rather than like death poisoning, but still, these will make you sick. So a mushy cold grape. Uh, why aren't I? There we go. A mushy cold grape. We've learned that if it's mushy and cold, when we heat that up, that's probably going to turn out to be rotten. So these frozen grape, lemon, and pear that we just found in the last episode probably already rotten, which is really annoying because how that's not fair. Um, you rarely, f previously, you would rarely find anything rotten except for a few days in. You know, things would start rotting slowly, but they would never freeze in the winter. So now they've added this cold or frozen thing. Notice how they're cold now. They were frozen. This might be because we're in a warm place. So it's possible that that would have just warmed up on its own. And when we went outside, it would have frozen. It could be that it's on our person. Um, but these are in the sink. So they're near fire. They're in a warm place. So the game is now modeling heat, which is great. Our joy is on the lowercase v. We did not like the wild vegetables, but they kept us going. We got comfy. This here, if you craft something while sitting down, you will got comfy. You will get a perk just because you sat down and did something. We enjoyed the hot meal. We enjoyed the sloppy joe. We enjoyed all the things that we ate in the last episode still. Uh, so our total morale is 120 flipping six, which is a lot. And focus means that you can read more quickly. Uh, you can gain more information from books. As your focus drops, you will not be able to read the book so well, and eventually you're going to want to, um, you know, do something else. Are we still grabbing this vehicle? No. Because uh, uh, what we could do now is grab this chair. Can you not be weird about your grabbing? That's what, uh, grab this and go this way. All right, let's push it that way. Grab the trolley, move it out of the way. Grab the chair, put it down here. There's stuff in the way. What's down here? Sock mitts. Can we deconstruct the sock mix? I know I said we'd finish, but I'm playing. Chill out. Uh, no, we cannot disassemble the sock mitts. But we can wear them. Are we wearing any gloves? Uh, plus, we'll show you what you're wearing. It says armor. If you go left and right like this, you see here our um, things are changing. So we're going to find our hands. We're wearing a pair of army winter gloves. That was easier than trying to read through all the things that we were wearing. So I'm going to grab again this, uh, move it. Grab the chair, move it down, grab the chair. So now whenever we craft from here, we will get comfy. So I'm going to off camera try and craft a few more things. It does say we're tired. I'm going to go a little bit longer and then I'm going to sleep downstairs. This is extremely dangerous because downstairs there is a golem or a robot thingy. 
However, it is behind a door and was not trying to break the door down the last I checked. What I might do is sleep near the door. Hopefully it will wake me up if it tries to make noises. It's scary. The other thing we could do is try and sleep in this bed here, but we'll be close to a window which we have not boarded up. We could also try and sleep here. That's a better idea. In fact, I'm going to do that now. Let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to grab... See the curtains are closed. In fact, we should close this curtain. I'm going to grab this bed. It's actually two pieces of bed. I cannot grab the bed. You used to be able to grab the bed and drag it around. I'm just going to sleep there then. What you can do, by the way, uh, is pick up... Um, pick up a whole bunch of stuff, drop them on the ground like this. I'm also going to move all this to directly below me. So now there's a pile of clothes below me. I can probably grab these sheets as well. There's a groundhog. Do you want a groundhog? Is it time already? Oh, that should be in my inventory. Let's try this again. Inventory. Move sheets. You can only move zero sheets. But what we can do is instead of that, surrounding area and then nine to go to the northeast. We will move all of the sheets to the northeast and ignore shards. We will press slash. We will pick the east and then we will move all the sheets. No, move all the sheets. And then we will do the same thing. If you press comma, I thought it was comma. Oh well, it's not working. Uh, move all the sheets. I thought you could just sort of move it again. Uh, move all the sheets. I don't want to sleep on a purse. <laughs> and then we do it one more time. So I'm going to keep uh, playing for a while, get some stuff crafted, see what we can come up with, uh, see what I have to show you for the next episode, and then, I think, when this fire dies out, I'm going to have a nap behind that door, and then in the next episode, I'll bring you back in that bed. But until then, I hope that you've enjoyed this episode, I hope it's been informative for you, and I hope that you're enjoying the series, because I'm enjoying playing, because I do enjoy playing this game, and I like people to know about it. So until next time, hope you'll join me then, and I'll see you.